Hi guys, it's Dan and Michelle with Honeymoon Always. We are coming to you from our apartment in Lisbon, Portugal, after having recently returned from our first leg of the Ultimate Caribbean Honeymoon Tour. Now we are full-time travel bloggers, and on this tour, we are doing a full Caribbean tour of islands and resorts to tell you which ones you will love the most. Today we want to talk to you about two resorts we visited, Sandals Royal Bahamian and Sandals Emerald Bay. If you have looked into a Sandals vacation in the Bahamas, you'll notice that there are two different resorts. So with this video, we hope to make it super clear which one will be best for you, or maybe if you want to just split your time between both, that's a good option too. But in the description below, you will find links to our other videos about the resorts and links to help you book. By clicking those links, that does help support our channel, so thank you so much. So we are gonna give you an overview of both of these resorts and kind of compare the two. They are both obviously sandals resorts, which are all inclusive adult only resorts. This means that your food and most of your activity is included in the cost of your stay, which is awesome. So we're gonna start off with Sandals Royal Bahamian because that's where we started. The coolest feature about Sandals Royal Bahamian is that it has its own private island that we got to take out kind of as soon as we landed and really enjoyed the private island. They have pools there, beaches, there's beach activities, you can go snorkeling, and there is a restaurant there. Yeah, when we were there, it was a bit choppy because it was hurricane season. And you can regularly see like stingray and other fish while you're snorkeling there, which is all included in your resort stay. Another great thing about Sandals Royal Bahamian, it is the closest Sandals resort to the continental US compared to any other Sandals resort in the Caribbean. So if you're looking to get to your destination fast, that's a great option. And it's only like a 15 minute drive from the airport to the resort. So if you're looking to get on your vacation, no jet lag, get there fast, this is a great option for you. Yeah. Now we actually spent the day before we got to Sandals at Baja Mar, which is just down the street, and they have a casino and a water park. So it is the only Sandals resort that ha is close to either a casino or a huge water park. So not on Sandals resort, but a lot of people that were at Sandals were taking a little day trip over to go to the casino or go to the water park during their stay. So there's a bit more variety that you don't find at most Sandals resorts. Another thing to know about Sandals Royal Bahamian it is that it, it's very compact. So like from our room, we were on like the fifth floor and and looking out, just everything was a bit more closer together than most Sandals resorts, other than the private island, of course, because that is far away and secluded, <laughs> so that's great. But if you're looking for like seclusion at the beach or for a quiet pool, you're not really gonna find that at Sandals Royal Bahamian. If you're looking to make friends, this is great because you're gonna see the same people regularly and that's easy. And the main pool there was very exciting, had a DJ, had a phone party over there, so like very lively. And if you're looking for that, then this is a great option. Last, it, it has been recently renovated. So you notice new restaurants, they have food trucks and a couple of their features that you may enjoy. Yeah, some of those things, because it's new, don't exist at other Sandals resorts, so it's a unique experience. Next is Sandals Emerald Bay. Now, Sandals Emerald Bay has a very special place in my heart because from here, we were able to go and do the Swimming with the Pigs excursion, which is truly one of the best things I've ever done in my life. It was so much fun. I ended up with a giant bruise on my legs from the, the, little, the little pigs kicking my legs, and it still was one of the best experiences of my life. So I love this resort, mostly because that excursion was so amazing. Yeah, going Swimming with the Pigs was definitely a unique experience that we will remember, you know, like of, our entire time so far in the Caribbean, that was like our most memorable thing to do. Yeah. And you can only access that from a St. Louis resort if you go to the one in Emerald Bay. Okay, the other thing that happened specific at this resort <laughs> is we showed up and the, we were hanging out in the pool. There's this main big pool area that is, there's always like bumping music or a game or something. And they start handing out bingo cards for people who want to donate $20 to the Sandals charity. And it's a good charity, but I just thought, no, I'm not gonna spend more money or whatever. I turn around and two seconds later, Dan is in the pool with a bingo card. And I guess not that many people- I'm very charitable. <laughs> Very charitable. So he, like I, five minutes later, he's won bingo. So he won these like two little candles and then he hands his card to me. And then two rounds later, I win bingo and we get like a photo shoot for free and like a free photo print because we played bingo in the pool, which is also a memory that I will have like kept in the folders of my brain for a long time. It was so, a good time. Yeah. And we had just arrived at the resort, so it was. 
It was good. Yeah, that was silly. But yeah, they have this great pool area, which is a huge pool with a swim up bar. And every like 30 minutes or an hour, there's like a different activity going on there. So that's really fun. And then there's a more secluded pool that is really quiet to the point where they don't allow blenders at that bar. Yeah, they have a sign saying like, don't talk. We have no blenders. Like this is quiet, which is yeah. nice. So this resort is also right on a very beautiful beach. But what I will say is we came right during hurricane season and they did a good job of like cleaning up the seaweed or whatever it was. But because there was so much of it, people weren't really spending that much time on the beach. It might've just been the time of the year. We were there in October, but we weren't able to take advantage of the beach quite as much because of that. Yeah, it was really cool. Like you could go out super far and then find these same banks, which I really liked. And yeah. just went around. It just, we had to avoid the seaweed to do that. And you can find little spots that don't have any seaweed. Yeah, it but was- But it is something to think about. It was fine. It was just, I think the most unusual of beaches that we went to. Yeah, I wonder if it's like that all year or if that was just a time of year thing. I have no We don't idea. know, yeah. Now, something we will say is that at least for our experience, we were at Emerald Bay for much longer than we were at Royal Bahamian but our experience with both the service and the food, we're better at Royal Bahamia. Yeah, like with the new food trucks, they had like a crank one and then they had like a conch fried taco thing that I had, which is really good. So it had a bit more unique food. And then their more typical restaurants that we've had at other sandals were really good. Like they have soy, which is their sushi. And overall, just really enjoyed the food there and the service, maybe because it's so much compact, is like you're seeing the same people, they're helpful. Yeah. We just really got great service while we were at um, sandals Royal Bahamian that we prefer over Emerald Bay. Yes. Okay, so as far as which ones were our favorite, I can speak for myself. For me, Sandals Emerald Bay was preferred over Sandals Royal Bahamian almost exclusively because of the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I had such a good time and it really was a lovely experience. And hanging out by the pool, we met a lot of really cool people. So I, I enjoyed that. Which one was your favorite? I agree. Not only were there pigs, <laughs> but I liked the pools. Because at Sandals Royal Bahamian, like the pools, it's just a bit more compact together, unless you go to the private island, but you know, you have to take a boat out there and all that. But at Samuel's Emerald Bay, you had, it was just very lively, but enjoyable. And like we had a butler that would get us a spot every morning mm. at the pool. He would ask us which pool we wanted to sit at. Oh gosh, and when they bring you food that you didn't ask for, like yeah. that's that's where it's at. They bring us pizza. Oh, and the other thing is the food. There's several um, lunch places right next to the pool. Yeah. So most of the time our butler brought us lunch. And But if not, we could just walk over to the jerk shack or there's a restaurant like right in the sand that we would eat at. So I really like that about it as well. Yeah. So. Those are our thoughts about the two sandals resorts in the Bahamas. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment below. You can also reach out to us directly. We have links in the description below, as well as links to help yourself book or even look for deals. And by clicking those links in the description below, that does help out our channel. So thank you so much. We hope you will like this video, subscribe to our channel, follow along with us on Instagram at Honeymoon Always, and we'll catch you at the next stop. Bye.